11. What is capacity? Well, if you remember the formula, what's the definition from the formula? C equals... Sorry, I have that backwards. Sorry, Q equals CV. So therefore, C is Q over V. So if we just write this as a statement... Capacity is charge per, uh, charge held in a capacitor per unit volt of potential difference through the capacitor. They only said the formula. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they only said the formula. Okay, stop there. So don't write. Don't write all that down. B. You don't need to write that down. They just wanted the formula. Okay, B. Two capacitors are shown in the diagram below. They're connected and there's a 30 volt um, connected to a 30 volt battery and then disconnected. Okay, so if you look here, please. What they've said is you have one capacitor and you charge it up using a 30 volt battery and its capacity is 20 microfarads and they want the charge so Q equals CV which will equal 600 micro coulombs which is equal to 6 times 10 to the minus 4 coulombs and then for the other capacitor, its charge will be found likewise. Again, it will be 30 times 12 now. So the charge in the other capacitor will be 3.6 times 10 to the minus 4 coulombs. Capacitor A, capacitor B. Which is part 1, part 2. What is the total capacity when the two capacitors are connected in parallel? So now we put the two capacitors like this. Who remembers the formula to get the total capacity here? Ah, you're thinking of the resistor. It's the other way. Yeah, you add them. So the total would be here 20 plus 12. So 32 microfarads. Just add 20 and 12. That was given the 20 and 12. Okay. Now, two ch the, the two charged capacitors are then connected in parallel so that the negative terminal of A is connected with the positive terminal of B as shown in the dotted line diagram. So really, I think I'll move this diagram down to the C part because it's confusing you being in the B part. So now we look at the diagram, okay? So in the diagram, it's set up like this. I'll draw it for you. There is the first capacitor. There's all the electrons on it there. And then you put them backwards like this. Okay. How much charge did I say was in the first one, the 21? 6 times 10 to the minus 4. 6 times 10 to the minus 4 coulombs. And then in the second one, 3.6 times 10 to the minus 4. Okay, let's look at what happens. So, the electrons 
will the current will flow this way the electrons will flow this way so the electrons move along this path now which one has more charge the top or the bottom the top one so which one will win out the one at the top so all the charge will go down to this one here to cancel this plate. You know, all the electrons move down here so that this and this cancel. So after a small amount of time, you can think of it now, this one will have zero charge, and then the one at the top will have 6 minus 3.6. So it will be left with 2.4 times 10 to the minus 4 coulombs. Now, if this is charged up, and this one has no charge, your situation looks a lot like this. It looks almost like you have a battery and an empty capacitor. If you think about it, this has a charge, and this does not. So it's like this is like a battery, and this is like an empty capacitor. And then it will start to charge up. Okay, so the question is, in this part here, when this is charging up, what voltage is between here and here? Well, we just have one formula for capacitors, really. C equals QV. No? Q, Q equals CV. Now, I know the Q. I know how much charge will go into this, because I know how much is in here. So I know how much will travel into here. I know the Q. I also know the C. So the V will equal the Q over the C. So that's 2.4 times 10 to the minus 4 over 12 microfarads. So it's like... 20 volts is running through it. Okay, write that down please. I don't know what you need to make note of. Hmm? Oh, I put that into my calculator. This works out to be 20 when you type it in. You can check. Let me just stop this.